getting then in real process has crashed, you pioneer Gamera and Arc Raiders Pioneer. Here's how to fix it fast and get back in the game. Step 1. Update your graphics drivers. Outdated or missing graphics drivers can cause your Steam games to crash, freeze, or fail to launch properly. Updating them ensures your system is fully compatible with the latest game updates and performance improvements. For NVIDIA users, visit the official NVIDIA website gives go to the driver section gives. Enter your GPU model gives download and install the latest driver. For MD users, visit the official AMD website gives navigate to drivers and support gives select your GPU gives download and install the newest version. After updating, restart your PC before launching your game again. Step 2. Verify integrity of game files. Open Steam and go to your library. Right-click the game that's giving you trouble and select Properties. Go to Installed Files on the left side. Click Verify Integrity of Game Files. Steam will scan and automatically repair or replace any broken files. Once it's done, restart your PC and launch the game again. This simple fix resolves many launch and crash issues right away. Step 3. Run the game as administrator. Sometimes games crash or fail to launch because they don't have permission to access certain files or system resources. Running the game as an administrator gives it the access it needs to start properly. Open Steam and go to your library. Right-click the game and select Manage gives browse local files. Find the games.exe application, file. Right-click it gives choose properties gives go to the compatibility tab. Check run this program as an administrator, then click apply. Once that's done, relaunch the game from Steam. The simple step often fixes startup crashes, black screens, and freezing caused by permission conflicts. Step 4. Disable background apps and overlays. Background programs and overlays can interfere with Steam games, causing crashes, freezes, or black screens. Disabling unnecessary apps ensures your game has full access to system resources. Close all unnecessary programs such as browsers, screen recorders, or chat apps before launching the game. Disable Steam Overlay. Open Steam Gives Settings Gives In-Game Gives Uncheck Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game. Disable Discord Overlay. Open Discord Gives Settings Gives Game Overlay Gives Toggle Off Enable In-Game Overlay. Temporarily turn off any third-party performance or overclocking software. After doing this, restart your PC and launch the game. Removing these background processes often resolves crashes, freezes, and lag issues. Step 5. Update Windows and System Drivers Outdated Windows versions or missing system drivers can cause crashes, freezing, lag, or black screens in Steam games. Keeping your system fully updated ensures maximum compatibility and stability. Press Windows plus I to open settings gives go to Windows Update. Click check for updates and install any available updates. Restart your PC once updates are complete. Additionally, visit your motherboard or laptop manufacturer's website to update chipset, audio, and network drivers if needed. After updating, try launching the game again. This step often resolves crashes and performance issues that aren't caused by the game itself. Step 6. Update DirectX and Visual C++ a++ redistributables. Missing or outdated system components like DirectX and Microsoft Visual C++ a++ redistributables can cause crashes, black screens, and performance issues in Steam games. Updating or repairing them ensures your game has the libraries it needs to run properly. DirectX. Visit the official Microsoft DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer page gives. Download and run the installer gives follow the prompts to update or repair DirectX. Visual C++ Redistributables. Go to the official Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable page gives. Download the latest versions for both x86 and x64 architectures gives install them and restart your PC. After updating, launch your game again. This step often fixes crashes, black screens, and other launch errors caused by missing or outdated system libraries. Step 7. Reinstall the game. If none of the previous steps solve the issue, your game installation may be corrupted beyond repair. A clean reinstall often fixes persistent crashes, freezing, or black screens. Open Steam and go to your library. Right-click the game and select Uninstall. Once the uninstall is complete, restart your PC. Reinstall the game from your Steam library. After reinstalling, launch the game without mods or third-party tools first to test stability. A fresh installation often resolves lingering issues and ensures a clean, stable setup. 
Step 8. Force the game to use DirectX 12 or 11. Open your Steam library. Right dash click the game and select properties. Under the general tab, find the launch options field. Type one of these commands, for DirectX 12, DX1 to for DirectX 11. Dash DX11 tests both versions as some. Systems run more stable on DX11, while others perform better with DX12. And that's it. Your Arc Raiders Pioneer should now run without crashes or errors. If this helped, drop a like, let me know which fix worked, and subscribe for more quick PC fix guides.